Come on. Come on now. Not quite done with your rest, are we? Oh, there you are. Exactly where Zim wanted you. Perfect. Hello, my dear Smeet. There you are. A part of the world at last. At least, for the moment. Ah. <laughs> uh. I hope you enjoyed your rest. Conquering Earth has never been easy, but I am honored that I have such a beautiful companion to share it with. <laughs> yes, I know Gur's important, but so are you. You know, I'll be completely honest with you. The decision to clone myself and infuse you with someone else's DNA to create you was one I at first thought foolish. I wanted to create an army, and I was kind of expecting you to come out fully grown. But now that I actually have you, I wouldn't have this any other way. You do know that, right? Do you know how important you are to Zim? You should. You are important to me, in every way, shape, and form. And with everything you ever do in your life, know this. Your Zim will always be beside you. Planet Earth is a very unforgiving place. But I have come to find that if you were raised on Urk, I don't think your life would be of a much better quality. Earth at least takes care of its smeets and recognizes wholeheartedly what is needed in order for a smeet to thrive. I know it's hard to fathom that Earth is better than Urk at something. And I swear, when you can talk, if you ever tell the Dibstink that, you will be punished severely. <laughs> ah, but for now, you are but a small sneedling. Look at you. So innocent, so perfect. You remind me of Gur in a way, except without all the hyperness to you. You're just you. Pure, simple, little you. Fully moldable and malleable. I could be evil. I could take advantage of this. I could tell you that you were my slave, my... And I was your omnipotence, but I can't do that to you. I thought when I brought forth an army of clones exactly like me, they would obey my every will, and I would rule them with an iron fist. When you came out of that incubation tube, and you were so small and perfect, all I wanted was purely to hold you. I know, Urkins are not meant to allow for producer instincts to kick in, but... I cannot help how I feel for you, my dear little Smeet. You are, in fact, everything to Zim. Know this wholeheartedly. There is absolutely nothing you can do that will upset the Almighty Zim. You have earned that immunity. One of these days, I know you're going to tell me to treat Gur nicer. One of these days, I know that you might stray from whatever path I had set from you. One of these days I know you will find your own personality, away from everyone else's, and you know what? You know what Zim has decided? Zim has decided that that is okay. Do you want to know why? Because you, my dear Smeet, are more important than all of that. Every single part of it. You are so important to me that the world could be set on fire, my universe could be crumbling, and my only concern would be where you were, and nothing more. Because you see, my Smeet, you are more important than all that. You are more important than conquering Earth. You are more important than my universe. You're even more important than... You are even more important than the tallest, in my eyes. You know they still don't know about you. 
I don't know why, I just haven't had the courage to tell them. I know I should. I am a brave Urkin invader. Such things should not faze me, but the very thought of them trying to find out about you and taking you away from me hurt my squeedly spoot so much sometimes I want to take off my pack thinking about it. You deserve someone who doesn't need to run away. Perhaps your other genetic specimen would be a good gift to you. Would care for you better. But no one knows the ways of the Urkins like I do. And it is for that reason that I vow from this moment on to bring you to greatness. To allow your squeedly spooch to grow and flourish for you. Even if it means we live on this world for the rest of our lives. You know, I just realized I haven't reported to the Tala since you've been around. And they haven't called me either. I mean, after the Florpus incident, I could understand why they'd be a bit peeved, but it's unusual for them to not call me. Sometimes I wonder if there's something I did wrong. But then I think of you and realize you are what I did right. Your creation, your very existence is everything I live for, my little Smeet. You are the universe's greatest gift, and you are a gift from Zim. But you're also a gift to Zim. You are a gift to Zim, so that you might live a beautiful life, and I might live a beautiful life. I took care of Gur as if he was my smeetling, and I intend to do the same with you. You are wonderful and magnificent, my dear. My precious little Smeet, whom I love with all of my squeedly spooch. There is nothing in this world that will ever make me upset with you, ever make me hate you, ever make me think that you are anything less than perfection. I don't care if something goes wrong. I don't care what you do with your life. The only thing that matters to Zim is that you are safe. Safe happy, content, free to live a life that is unequivocally yours. That, my dear, is what matters to Zim. And I will make that happen for you. I will make that happen for you, and I will make that happen for anyone else. This world is ours, but not in a way I had ever anticipated. I thought I would have conquered this world by now, I thought. Truly, I thought this world would be bowing before me, when in truth, this world is what saved me from myself. Will you ever understand that? Will you ever know what it feels to know that power? I hope not. When I attend classes in Miss Bitter's room, I, I see those humans, and instead of feeling disgust, I only think of the next time I'm going to see you. And then I come home, and here you are, surprisingly well taken care of by Gur, I might add. I know it hurts when I leave, but I must attend Miss Bitter's class so that Dib does not suspect anything and come after you. If he ever took you... What? What would he do with you? Huh. Humans do have a surprisingly high morality complex, despite Miss Bitter's personality. And Dibs. You are a baby, if you will. And therefore, babies deserve due attention, due care, and due gentleness. Would Dib try to hurt you, or would Dib just want to scoop you up and love you? <laughs> Perhaps you could be the Dib thing's greatest weakness. Oh, who am I kidding? I wouldn't exploit you like that. You know that. You know that. You know that, don't you? Oh, I cannot get over how precious you are. If I live to do anything in this life, it will be to see you reach all the important milestones in an Urkin's existence. 
there are many. But the one I long to see is the one that would make you the happiest. I live to see whatever you choose to do in your life, because you are the most important thing to Zim. No matter what anyone says, you are amazing, beautiful, wonderful, and a miracle to this world. And I don't want anyone telling you differently. All right? You are kind. You are precious. You are wonderful. And I know when you grow up and develop a true sentience of your own, Zim will support you in every endeavor. Now, I'm with Zim. We're going to go stargaze at the telescope, if that's something you're interested in. Let us make many memories together, my sweet. Now and evermore.